Hey, Lee, you got some friends coming. Over a hundred of them. Hold it. Oh! You hit it on the first try. That's what she said. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> So we got a pot load of critters coming. We got to set up the chute so we can get those unloaded. Then after we get feeding done and maybe unload these critters, I think the semi is going to be here somewhat soon. We'll show you what we got in there. Come on. Got the chute set up, we're gonna get feeding done and then wait for that semi. It should be coming about, I think they said late morning, mid to late morning. Everybody's coming up to eat. That's a good sign. That truck will back up to the chute. Run the calves right off. They'll head down our alley where they will have kind of a muddy pen because we got three and a half weeks in the last three we got three and a half inches of rain in the last one and a half weeks they got this nice bedding this mound's drying off things are drying off it was 60 degrees yesterday gonna be 60 degrees today and windy and then they got some bales when they eat on those we'll give them some more and these calves are store-bought and they're freshly weaned just coming off the calf just coming off the cow man i cannot think today meaning we're gonna have to watch them close because those freshly weaned calves they tend to get sick, especially when they've been in a sale barn on a truck and coming from about 240 miles away. Os Osange? Os Assange? If you've watched those first couple videos after we weaned our home raised stuff, we put a water tank in there and we're giving them some treated water. We're gonna do that again with these calves that are coming in because it seemed like it worked really great. Our calf health is about as good as it's ever been. Seems like that worked well. I guess they didn't need much water, but we're here. Girls have been here about two weeks. In about two more weeks, we're gonna run them down that highway. Hopefully that goes good to about where those trees are. We got 240 acres of corn stalks and about 40 acres of grass that they could pick on and some trees there. That was quick. Don't you like our handle right there? That's farm stuff. What do? Jeff said that he's done with that post puller and it's still on his skid loader so he can set it on here. Okay. You could say he flew. Do you think the people miss my mustache from last video? Because I do. My upper lip feels cold this morning. <laughs> well, grow it back with a little beard. So you don't have that look. That look. What's the name of that look? 70s mustache. <laughs> Alright, the truck with the claves will be here soon. Getting excited. Just love seeing them run off that trailer, see what we bought. Dad has a friend. He's actually got a lot of friends that are auctioneers or work in the sale barn. And give them a heads up if, if Dad's asked for some calves that, hey, looks like a decent buy here. And so we're really fortunate with that. Helps us buy a lot of our calves. Anyway, let's dig into that. Is 
pretty sweet. What do you think? It's pretty dang sweet. So this is a decked toolbox from deck.com. And you know how we always got these slappies and sometimes when we're driving, they fly out of the back of our pickup. Well, obviously the solution to that is put it in the cab, but a lot of times these are full of manure. So now when we're working cattle, we can just throw it in there. Also, when we're pulling this trailer around, a lot of times we're working the cattle and some of those vaccines do need to be refrigerated. So it's nice to get it out of the sun and this is pretty thick. So it should help insulate our vaccines a little better to keep them out of sun, maybe a little cooler. These things are weather resistant and also check this out. We've never had a toolbox, always wanted one. It's just a great place to store stuff, especially like our slappies tools so they're not rolling around in the back. Hitch pins, so it's not getting tangled up with our garbage wire that we always have laying around. Another thing we like about it is it's made in the USA. There's a key to it so people don't steal your goodies. Fill that thing with ice, you could probably get a nice 30 rack of bush, I mean uh, pop soda in there for the end of a Great day of working cattle. Dect has another interesting product, and that's their drawer system. It sits down in the bottom, and then you can still put stuff on top of it, and it holds a lot of weight. Not only that, when you shut your tailgate, all those drawers are locked in there because your tailgate's shut, and so people can't get into your drawer system. And you know, Christmas is a coming, and if you wanna hook yourself up, or maybe a family member, relative, significant other with a drawer system or toolbox, there's a link below, or you can type in www.deck.com slash sunny, S-O-N-N-E, not S-U-N-N-Y, to check out a decked drawer system or toolbox. We're excited to run that. It looks pretty fancy back in there. Cheapers, creepers. It has begun. What in the blazes is that red thing? Well, it's hard to get stuff that you need these days, so we got what we wanted, just a different color. Robbie said he'd chip in some spray paint for mm, it. Bet that'd look great. No. Yep. You had to tell Robbie already. I think our truck's coming. Oh, go time. You're, you're a natural, Tiff. I am. <laughs> That's quite the truck. Do you have a clip or just me? No. if he starts backing us over. Alright, Tiff, so. You're gonna climb in there and you're gonna open all the compartments so the cattle are in there, right? Alright. <laughs> do they look green? Yeah. They do look green. Let's get Tiff over here. Mostly blacks, maybe some little baldies. There's a couple baldies, but they're all black. Okay. Cole came and talked to me and I lost my count. Oh, really? That's okay. Oops. Oh, that one's got a lot to say. She was saying, ma, meatloaf. Mm. Did you know mom's making a meatloaf right now? I did not. Yeah, like, true story. All I knew is the garage smelled really good. Like, you can smell food in there. The garage smelled good? Yeah, you can smell what she's cooking. I always like going to mom's I home. thought it smelled like garbage in there. Not now. Not now that she's cooking. <laughs> Hello. You gotta keep going. Your mother's not here. Sorry. So dad, why do we buy calves? Because we have more feed than the amount of cattle we have. We put up a lot of feed. So I don't want to calve out 600 to you. No. Yeah, that's why we buy it. Uh -huh. We got more feed lot and feed than we got cows to calve. Yeah, we got to keep cold busy in the winter time or else you're too, too busy seeing what the banker lady's doing. <laughs> Eat mortgage? 
<laughs> so there's a few different compartments you got I believe there's one up front there's one at the main level and then there's another big compartment at the top and then one or two small compartment there so we had 110 calves on this trailer Of them are going right for the hay. They're a little hungry. Yeah. Been on a truck for about three hours. How'd you like to be a truck driver? I mean, those guys, they, you know, they wait around. Then about eight o'clock at night, somebody calls them and says, "Hey, will you drive 250 miles and go get some cattle for me?" And then they drive in the dark and they load in the dark and then they turn around and go in the dark and then. Well, I think they like it. Well, and they got the nice trucks. Yeah. yeah. They it's, do a great job keeping their vehicles nice. Yeah, actually, I think the guys that do it do enjoy it because they don't. They might try something else for a while, but they always go back and get the truck job again. So where do these come out of? Saint Ange livestock. In? Saint Ange, South Dakota. Oh, South Dakota. It's a tiny little town out, by, out in the Black Hills area. Oh. They came. They came from Wayson. Yeah. That might help. It's starting to look like a few critters in there. You know, they're going to be hungry and thirsty. They had a long ride. I remember we put that ball on there just to make sure that thing didn't freeze over or keep a little dust from flying in there. You did a great job. In our quest to keep Storla Station stocked, just drove long ways, grabbed two pallets. Where'd I find these? Wouldn't you like to know? But if you need them, they're at Storla Station. Also grabbed some railroad ties. Dad and I got some fencing to do. So we'll get these unloaded, bring those two pallets to Storla Station. coming back from Storla Station, some feed and a bunch of vet supplies. Barbed wire was getting a little scarce there and now we got two more pallets. And I gotta say thank you to everyone supporting Storla Station, just trying to keep this place alive for the locals out here and you know we did actually ship someone wanted some darts and we actually did ship that so there is a way <laughs> we just got to box it and figure out how payments gonna work but a lot of people did buy t-shirts we appreciate that that's helping a lot we're trying to get hats on the site and for the people that work over at Storla Station so thanks everybody for the all the support <sighs> sounds like you're excited yeah, not as much as I was 35 years ago when I was your age. Mm. All right. But, well, we get to but, work 110 heifers. I just found an extra slappy. Free slappy. Maybe that's what Ellie's been up to lately. Hey, I could use that. Is that a knee joint? Not here. Or that here. right there is the ACL. I need that one specifically. Whew. It's got some stank to it. <laughs> Good. 
So we're doing mini stuff. Get the uh, ear tag removal system out of the box. It's, uh, sounds technical. Okay, so we remove the tag. We do the pour. We do the seven way, the five way, and then a, a nasal agin. Yeah, that gets in them quicker. You shoot it right up the nose hole, and there's a lot of reception sites up in there, so it gives a really good immune response, and it keeps them from getting a lot of those respiratory diseases. When you say reception spots, it's like good for cell phone service? Yes, they got 5G in them nose holes right I see. there. I see. When they're all bunched up like that, it don't look like too many. Thirty-three done. Eighty-ish, uh, seventy-eight, seventy-seven more to go. Go get them, Tiger. I should tell you about the song of the day while I'm song of the day. So the mamas and the papas, California dreaming. They were on the Ed Sullivan show and they got told last minute that they couldn't do it live. They had to lip sync it. Hmm. So Michelle Phillips walked around eating a banana during the song just to... Legend Dairy. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Stick it to the man. Yep, Google it. What's Google? The internet. Yourself one of these AeroQuip hydraulic chutes. You can just sit on a picnic table and run it. It's a pretty sweet deal. Hey. Yeah. We got about one, two, three, four, it's about seven left. I'm sure they're ready to go drink and eat. That's 110 work. Mm -hmm. There you be, sir. Nobody's looking. Come on. Yep. All right. There they go. I don't look at him anymore. He was giving me the stink eye. And they had a nice place to walk out on this mat. I'll link below if you're interested in a nice mat. You can see instead of looking like that. Looks like that. It's nice. So there's a look at the 110 calves you bought. What do you think about them? Four or five that probably a little, little uneven sort, but it happens. And so and, far, so good. And they're going to gain. And we're going to sell them. And we might make some money. But we get to feed cattle so that's good yep gives us a reason to make hay and, and combine grind, corn and grind all that corn that now we have to feed so yeah that went up 10 cents a bushel today <laughs> <laughs> all right so thanks for watching we'd like to see you next time have a good one hey it's marshall Dillon. Clint Eastwood.